Right, so we're now going to go ahead and build the markup for our form and go ahead and talk about how this might work. Let's go ahead and create a form element and end that down here. Let's go ahead and add a couple of attributes to this. Now I'm going to set the action to upload.php, which I've already created. Now when, what we're not going to be doing is actually refreshing the page at all. This is all going to be done via an Ajax request. However, if for any reason there is a JavaScript error on our page and you know our JavaScript functionality stops working or the user has JavaScript turned off, we want this to still work. So we're still going to set the form action to upload.php. We're still going to give this a method as we usually would. That's going to be post. Um, and we're also going to give this an ink type as well, which is multi-part form data. So we're also going to identify this so we can target it with JavaScript. And I'm just going to ID this as upload. And I'm also going to go ahead and give this a class of upload. We can go ahead and style it with this class. So what we're now going to do is look at creating a field set uh, and a legend for the title. So a field set here. And we go ahead and end that down there. Let's go ahead and add a legend. Okay, so this legend is going to go ahead and contain what we want to show at the top. In this case, it's just going to be upload files. And then underneath this, we go ahead and create our file input and our submit button. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we have an input type of file. We give this an ID of files. So we can go ahead and target this. We also give this a name. And because we're allowing multiple file uploads, we need to include these brackets. That just specifies that we can have an array of files and we can pick this up with PHP later. Now we want this to be required so it will shout at the user if they don't actually select anything when they hit upload. And also we're going to say we want this to allow multiple. So now what we want to do is include the submit button. So let's go ahead and say input type of submit we want to go ahead and give this an ID of submit again so we can target it and we're also going to give this a name of submit we don't really need to do this so a value now of submit will basically just show to the user we could even just call this something like upload let's go ahead and look at how this looks so refresh here there we go so we've got our uploads file title our choose files and upload button we'll go ahead and make this look pretty in the next part so let's go ahead and actually look at styling this properly now. So we're going to go ahead and apply some styles to our overall page and actually style up our form here. So we need to go over to global.css, which remember we already have included it in. We're going to go ahead and style the body and choose a font family here just so we have a, a nicer font to work with. And I'm going to pick Georgia and then provide the serif uh, fallback here. So what we now want to do is go ahead and target the form that we created here, which remember has a class of upload. So we can go ahead and target that like this. Now I'm going to give this a width of 500 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and give this a background as well, just to distinguish it from the rest of the page. And that's going to be F0, F0, F0. I'm going to go ahead and give this a border of one pixel. That's going to be solid and it's going to be DDD. And I'm also going to give it a padding of 20 pixels. So before we go on to the rest of the styles, let's just take a look at how this looks. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit better now. Let's go ahead and style the field set that we created here. So let's go ahead and give this a border of zero. That will just basically get rid of the default border like this. And we can go ahead and start to reduce the padding on this. And we'll also give this a margin bottom just so we uh, separate this from the content we're going to create underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and target now the legend within the field set. And we can go ahead and specifically set the font size of this. I'm going to do that to 1.2 M's. And I'm going to go ahead and set the margin bottom again just to separate that from the rest of the content. And that looks like this. So it's starting to look a little bit better. What we're going to do in the next video is start going ahead and creating the actual progress bar.